You've opened an image in Affinity Photo and you want to rotate it, PC or Mac. Well, what you need to do is go over here to the Layers panel. Key panels, Transform and Layers. You can find those in View Menu, Studio, and then select that Layers panel. And just also deselect that little there, little lock. Make certain that's deselected. Now what you can do, just go over here to the Move tool. And make certain also, another useful thing, is to make certain this little Transform Origin is selected. You can deselect it or select it. And as soon as you select it on, you'll notice there's a crosshair in the center. And as you hover over, you'll see that cursor change. Now you might want to rotate it around the dead center. That's fine. But maybe you want to rotate it around a slightly different position. Well, you can just drag that down there. Say you want to rotate around this right down the bottom, fairly close to the bottom. Well, what you can do if you want to just rotate it without any sort of using the transform, you can just simply rotate it like that. Just go to the these points here, either, any of them, and just rotate it around. You can see it rotates around that position down there. Also, you can scale it as well if you want. You can rotate it. However, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to rotate it around that position just there, but I want it more slightly controlled. And the key thing, transform. Transform panel, and just go over here, and you see there's an angle there, R. You just got a little R there. So you say, oh, I only want it done by four degrees. So it just rotates by four degrees. Or maybe you think, oh, you know what? Don't want four, I want 9.2. Something like that, 9.2. And so you can rotate it very controlled by that. Or you can, of course, enter minus 9.2 if you want to do that. So once you've done that, you can also gain, I'm just going to rotate it now just using those, the bounding box there. And I can rotate it so I can get it nicely in a straight up like that because I love doing camera angles at a weird angle. So you can just see, you can get that. Once you've done that, what you can also do, you notice there's an issue here now. You've got transparent background. You may want that. Maybe you're happy with that. You can always save the document to a particular format that saves that transparency. Perfectly reasonable. But if you don't want that transparency, what you can quickly do, and this is what I often do, I simply go over here to the rectangle tool, select that, any size, doesn't particularly matter, just create it very big, like that. And once you've done that, what you can do, you can drag it just down. Just go to the layers, and you can see now, you can just drag it. And of course, you can change the color. You might think, you know what, don't want it that one, I want it red. And you've got a nice background colorful for your photo. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.